Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort. This will be one of the most epic episodes you've ever seen on my channel so far because what we are going to do is something I've seen a few of you guys ask me to do and just an idea which I've been wanting to do for a while now and this is to see what happens if we launch a nuke in space in GTA 5. You're probably thinking, what do I mean by space? There's not even a space in this game. Well, that's where you guys are wrong. If you actually remove the boundaries using a mod, you can go beyond the map, beyond the entire world and go straight into space where there is literally nothing there. Now theoretically I've done some research on this there is pretty much little to no air pressure in space so this nuke it's not really going to detonate any fire or anything else like that instead if this follows science it's going to make some crazy energy ball or something like that and it's just going to expand forever into the universe essentially it's just going to be a huge flash and it's going to go thousands of miles and it's just going to spread out across the entire of the universe until the energy eventually runs out or something. It sounds so scientific, so crazy, but it sounds epic. I mean, we can't deny that, guys. Whatever this experiment is, it's going to be epic. So what we are going to do is fly into space. We're going to detonate a nuke and see what happens. And I'm excited for this because a lot of this game does actually follow the rules of science. For example, if you put a tree in front of a train, two uh, unmovable objects, I guess you could say, unstoppable objects, according to scientific videos and evidence and research and theories, two Two unstoppable objects will just go straight through each other and that's exactly what we have in GTA 5. So Rockstar Games use those base theories in this game. So if we go into space and launch a nuke then something epic is going to happen and we're going to have this crazy uh, aura. Is that how you say it? Aura? Just a huge aura of just like energy in the sky and I I'm looking forward to getting into this because if that is the case the entire of the map is just going to be lit up with an orange sky. It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to getting into this. I hope you guys do enjoy this episode as always always if you do be sure to smash that thumbs up button that would of course be absolutely amazing my hair is growing a little bit but right now it's still really short I'm not too sure if, if I like it this short to be honest guys you know I'm used to long hair I think I'll go for long hair again next time but hey let's just get into this guys I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're talking about with this nuke all right so let's use this for now we'll use it on the plane and three two one boom there we go that's what we're talking about yep we got taken out <laughs> <laughs> the energy and shockwave from that just took us out straight away and it took out everything in the airport So these aren't small nukes This is the biggest nuke you can ever get in GTA 5 and launching this in space will definitely do something epic And like I said scientifically, it's going to create some aura across the entire of San Andreas filled with energy filled with orange and it's just gonna be epic so yeah, I need to get myself a plane and we need to start flying into the sky. It takes a while to get to space and yeah, let's just fly up. I'm also going to wait. I know what I can do guys. This will make things easier. If we go into vehicle options, I can set the speed of this to 200% faster. So what this will do is get us to space much faster than at a normal speed. Basically 200 times faster, I guess you could say. There's Los Santos. See you later. Next time we come down here, the entire sky should be orange. Like theoretically, scientifically, this is where we're putting the game code to the test because Rockstar Games do follow scientific theory uh, with the base build of this game, if that makes sense. Like, they follow all of the theories and everything else like that. I have done so many experiments and tested that and proven that. With this experiment, we should again have the scientific base theory to back us up that the entire sky will just be filled with energy and it's going to be awesome if that is the case. You can always tell when we're getting closer because the stars above you, they will actually get closer towards you and once we go through those stars, we are in space essentially. Oh my days, look at the map below us. It's starting to look like a planet. <laughs> it looks like we're in space already in first person, but of course we are not. We are almost there. Oh my gosh, look at the world now, guys. I'd say 10 seconds or so. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and any second now we'll be going into space. Three, two, one, and now are we in space? Yes, we are now in space. There we go. And look at this. Something else I might try out in this episode is to find out what this is. There is just a huge green orb in space. I have no idea what it is, but I really want to find out. So we might just keep flying out in this episode to see how far we can go. But for now, we are in space. You can see the sun is over there. You can see the planet is down there. So theoretically, if we launch a nuke in space, there won't be any fire. Instead, we're going to see a lot of energy. Just a lot of energy. Maybe some blue, some orange. 
you know, a lot of energy, guys, and it's just going to spread across the entire of the universe. So I'll keep going out just a little bit more, guys. I want to make sure that we're out far enough so we're not in any, like, atmosphere or anything like that. This will be epic, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen. I personally think just because I want this to happen that we're going to get a huge display of orange energy across San Andreas because that would be awesome and that's what will happen according to science. But whether that happens or not, I have no idea. I haven't tested this. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this, Michael. Three, two, one, go. Oh, dude, go into invincibility. No! 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 Oh my gosh! I just realized we're not invincible. We have to go back up to space. But as you saw there, that was a crazy explosion. It took us out from that distance. Like, the maximum distance a rocket can explode. So... What we do know so far is the explosion is emphasized. It is bigger. It is larger. Let's take a look in the sky and see if it's changed the sky whatsoever. That would be awesome if it has, but I don't think it has right now. Yeah, I don't think it's changed the sky at all. I can see like an orange tint, but I'm not too sure if that's from the sun. This looks so cool. Using the cinematic view. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at this. We're just flying around in space. I'm not even sure what the clouds are. Like, there's little balls of clouds or something. Judging from attempt number one, I mean, it was pretty damn epic. I'm not too sure how epic it was because we were taken out before we could even study uh, the nuke itself. So, let's do this again. Three, two, one, go! Go! Oh my gosh. All right, we are invincible this time. Dude, that's massive. What? Okay. Some scientific theory is working here, guys. We're actually, like, kind of doing a science lesson here. So what's happening is the explosion... Oh my days, look at the smoke from that. Because there's no air pressure in space, the explosion itself is actually much larger than anything you would see on land. And for some reason, they're not exploding anymore. The only thing which is wrong is the fact that you can see fire, because, of course, there's no oxygen in space, so you can't see any fire in space. Because in order for fire to burn, you need oxygen. And in space, there is no oxygen. So that's where the scientific theory goes wrong in this game, but what is right is the fact that you can see two balls of energy. Uh, that is something you would expect in space if you launched a nuke in space. I did actually do a bit of research into this before I went into making this video. So if a nuke does go in space, you will have little balls of energy, which will make a crazy aura over the entire sky for like thousands of miles. And that's what we saw just here. Although those balls were quite small, in real life they would be much larger. So we're kind of getting there. It's still an interesting experiment nonetheless. Oh my god. You can see the effect the nukes have had on San Andreas. Look at this. <laughs> it's definitely... What? It is having a massive effect on San Andreas. Dude, these nukes went off in space. And look at this. The shockwave from that affected the ground. Dude, these nukes are massive. Look at the flags and everything. You can see there is some crazy wind coming down to Los Santos from those nukes. And it's destroying the map as we speak. Okay, you ready for this? Three, two, one, and... Go, let's do this. Oh, I think it's glitched again. So if we fire it at something, we can get the nuke. But if we fire it into space, we can't get it anymore. For some reason, that's glitched. But you can... Oh, my days. What's up with that nuke? It's just like frozen in time. It's over there. What? Dude, that's so cool. Okay, so you do get these balls of energy, which is something you don't get on land. But other than that, we don't actually get the exact theory of what should happen, according to science, if we end up launching a nuke in space. But either way, this was still a very interesting experiment to do. Um, so what else can we do here, guys? Uh, I might just go back over to land and see what damage it's done. Let's go over to San Andreas. Has anything happened down here? Let's take a look. Anything at all? Yep, okay, we're getting a bit of wind from the nukes in space. But other than that, I don't see anything in the sky. It's not like we can see the nuke itself or any energy from it. But it's definitely affecting San Andreas. I'm going to do this one more time, but this time I'm going to do it at night time. So here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> can we fire it into nothing? Oh, I think we... Maybe? Will that explode? No, it's not going to explode. Let's do it like here. All right, let's do it again as well. And then we'll just teleport down to the ground. Teleport. High altitude. And let's go over to the maze bank roof. I'll do one more. There we go. Maze bank. Has anything happened? Anything in the sky? 
I don't see anything in the sky. So even if you detonate a nuke in space, you won't see any effect from San Andreas. But if you end up looking down at the ground, you will actually see that the shockwave and everything else like that will affect things from Los Santos. So that's one crazy nuke. The energy it's emitting is just like mad. Like it's off the scale. Considering the energy from the nuke can go from space all the way down to the ground, it's just crazy. So overall, guys, this was still very interesting. I hope you did enjoy this episode. As always, if you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would, of course, be absolutely amazing. And of course, guys, I recommend you press that subscribe button just below this video so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. And if you want to see me do anything else in GTA 5, comment your idea in the comments below. And you never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. But guys, until next time, my name is Nort and stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.